guys what's happening welcome back to downshift throttle now as you can see i'm driving my m140i but i'm not really going to be doing a vlog on this car today at all i'm actually going to east north castle which is an off-road course run by land rover and range rover now a few months back you may recall i bought an approved used range rover revoke for my wife now as part of that deal or as part of any approved used or new land rover range rover products that you buy they always give you a half day experience day which is this so i'm going to east north castle which is about an hour away from now so hopefully this video is going to be quite good because i'm going to be doing some off-roading so here's all the range rover and land rover cars quite a few i think it's going to be a really good day the weather's good as well Guys, we got Joey here yeah, who's going to be going through all the paperwork with us, all the boring stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to fill this paperwork out, we're going to enjoy some mockers and then we're going to go out onto the road. So guys, while we're waiting for the formalities, I just thought I'd help myself to, uh, to a mocker. I really think it's going to be an awesome day. You enjoying your biscuit? Not really good for you, but hey. So this is the car that we're going to be going out in, a Range Rover Revoke. This is, as I'm told, it's the Hater C model. It's a 2016 model year, so it's, it, this is the facelift to the one that we've actually bought. The reason why we've chosen to go out in the Evoke is because we've actually bought the Evoke, so it's pointless going out in something like, you know, the Discovery or, or the Vogue or, or you know, the Sport or anything, because really I want to see what the Evoke's capable of. Let's go and uh, look at this car. So it's very similar to the one that we've got. This is the auto compared to the manual, or even this one. It has the panel roof, the same kind of seats. Nick, what did you say? This was uh, a 2 litre 180 brake? Yes. Okay, so this is a slightly more powerful version of the new Ingenium engines. Yes. So it is pretty much um, equivalent to our 2.2 SD4 190 brake, which was the older engine. This yes. is the newer engine, yeah. isn't it? It is our own engine, so right. you know we spend a lot of time on it. Um, the good thing is, is um, you know, whereas before when we were buying the engines in, we are we're limited to how many engines we can buy off yeah. the supplier. Because I understand the 2.2 engine was a kind of a, a Peugeot block with a Ford yeah. kind of technology in there, wasn't it? Yeah. Probably why it keeps breaking yeah. that. Ford, it was Ford, Ford Peugeot. Yeah. Um, the downside is we have to buy that engine in, so you know you, you, you can be limited to what you can can get in. Yeah. Uh, whereas having our own engine plant now back in Wolverhampton, um, we can say, well, we've got an extra five thousand five thousand vehicles. Uh, added, can we order another 5,000 engines? They can ramp up production, which is all good. Brilliant. Okay, I'm just going to stop and do a radio check. Is this when we're going to be on two wheels or something? Yeah, pretty much. You can feel it twisting yeah. about at the moment. That's a weird sensation. <laughs> now when the fourth wheel touches, because this at the moment the offside rear wheel is actually stuck in the air, you'll feel it catch because it will just tip the vehicle over to the left a little bit more. Oh my god. There you go. Are we on two wheels? We're not, well, all the weight's pretty much on the two wheels. The, these wheels are just touching the ground. Be done in any of the other two ends, or does it have to be in the mud and ruts? Segment? No, actually, you could get away with the general programs and everything else. We just go for the mud and ruts uh, just because it's that uh, it pulls away in first gear more. Um, but again, for something like if you with the Discovery in particular, they've actually got a rock crawl feature yeah. uh, that only works in low range, so they can actually get more control. So it'll hold on to first gear so, uh, so much longer. So this is where a lot of people start 
floor in the uh, putting the foot hard down to the trough floor. With this, you just ease her up and you just gently. How can you see where you're going? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, quite reassuring. There. It's gonna just rock onto the other side now. That's it. So what you're trying to do is, as you're driving, is almost make a mental note of where the tr where you, where you want to go. Mm -hmm. uh, because there are always going to be points where you physically can't uh, see. And again, just by using the brakes, just easing it down. So Nick, what's that, like a 45 degree angle? No, a 30. A 30? Yeah. Would you like to see that again from the outside? Yeah. Oh, I'd love that. Okay. So we've just gone around this kind of a salt course on this, on this concrete where we've run two wheels. Now what Nick's going to do is he's going to come around with the Range Rover Evoque and do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to give you some exterior shots. That way you can actually see what the walks are actually capable of. So yeah, here, here comes Nick now. I'm going to flick the camera around. So you can see this, this is the walk. This was the one that we were in. And look at the state of it already. Obviously we've got the actual Vogue there. But this is the car that we're concentrating on. I can't believe that our Evoke is actually capable of doing something like this. And this is the baby range. It's cocking its wheel. Look at that. Just look at that. Wheels off. It's on three wheels. It just feels so composed just doing that. It's literally at its own habitat. It comes alive. It's just really easing it up. You can see the four wheel drive system working, the front wheel still spinning in the air. Gently does it Nick, gently. <laughs> Really impressive. It's good that we can learn what the this, track's doing as well. This hill descent system now absolutely works because I'm literally not applying any brake and it's doing it all by itself. Yeah, it's really impressive. Really good system. When when it first came out yeah. uh, on Freelander. Um, 20 years ago, it was, you know, the engineers were looking at you because know, it was like, well, it hasn't got a twin speed gearbox, so uh -huh. it hasn't got a low range, so yeah. it's like, well, how are we going to start slowing it down? And Which way? To the left, please. Uh, uh, and then some bright sparks said, well, I can use the brakes and get the car to do it if you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. and slow down even more. <coughs> Certainly, when you get over this crest here, it's going to go quite quickly. I'm using the brake here, but it is it is rolling. So my foot at the moment is on the brake. That's it. And then take your foot completely off now. <laughs> completely off. That's it. Is off. It's funny. Right. That was a weird sensation because my foot came off and. Uh, you wanted to go back on. I wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of people say what? that. Are you sorry? Right? Are you I don't like that? <laughs> are you serious? Take my foot off. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's one of those. It's it's very difficult because um, if you, particularly if you've never driven off road yeah. before, you've got to take yeah. everything you've learned on road and yeah. almost start again. That's right again, absolutely. Whereas with Defender in particular, as we're coming down there, so if you keep going with the throttle, you'll be fine. Uh, with Defender in particular, as you're coming down, you actually ask it to accelerate, right? Uh, and that throws a lot of people out. It's actually slipping to the right. Yeah, come to your right a bit more. Keep your wheels. Straight. Keep to the right. Yeah. This way. Because you're actually turning to the left. So try it now and you'll find it a lot easier. So keep it nice and straight. Bring the throttle. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. 
Oh, it's found some traction. Yeah. It's very good because although we've got standard tyres and standard tyre pressures, technology right. involved in all yeah. our cars, uh -huh. if there's any grip, it will turn it into traction. So it's very, very right. good at finding that. Yeah, because actually that was one thing I was going to ask you. These, these are standard tyres, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Literally the same tyres as what we've got on, on yeah. our Revolk. We keep them standard um, purely because we want to show people what, you know, yeah. what our cars can achieve. Um, there are other manufacturers out there that yeah. say if you want to go off-road or if it snows, you need yeah. to change your tyres. Yep. Um, we just say select a program. Yeah. <laughs> and you will feel that lift on the right hand side as well. There you go. That's it all the way to the top. A bit more throttle, keep it going, bit more mo, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more. <laughs> bit more. <laughs> That's it. There we go, the little donkey did it. And then we're gonna go around to your left again. Not too much because there's a bit of a wood section here, but you'll be fine. So we're around to your left again. Aim for the mirror now. <laughs> oh, I hate this bit. <laughs> Aim for the mirror. That's it. So you go straight, straight ahead. Yeah. So keep it going. A bit more, a bit more. Back on the brake. Yeah. And from now on, just use the brakes. So hard right. So you're modulating your speed just using the brakes. Right. Okay. There you go. That's it. We'll keep going to the right. So you're at the top. It's not gonna tip, is it? No. Nah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll be alright. <laughs> Out of all the cars, this is probably one of the most stable <laughs> things you go around. Well, I'll take your word for it. That's it, man. Then all the way around to your left, and we'll start climbing this section here. It's called the Peanut. That's it. Keep turning left. Unbelievable the way he just caught onto that tire. Straight on through. As easy as that. <laughs> I'll bring back a bit of that, um, that peanut course, <laughs> as you call it. It's um, a bit nerve wracking, <laughs> yeah, especially always. when you start feeling the car slide a little bit. Yeah. Well, I guess he's doing that to find traction, isn't he? Yeah, you've only got a certain amount of cohesion with the tyre on the yeah. on the concrete, but uh, if you can just gently keep feeding, let the technology find it, and then off we go again. So guys, as part of the Land Rover Experience Day, we're now at the East North Castle. What a beautiful sight this is. Look at the state of the car, we've obviously done quite a bit of off-roading in it. We just parked outside the, the castle here just so that we can get a few photos and obviously take in this whole kind of scenic view. You've seen the cars doing some off-roading. So that concludes my experience day at East North Castle with Land Rover. I hope you found this video quite entertaining. Hopefully I'll see you guys on my next vid. Take care guys. Bye.